So welcome to Techno Day at Life, where we build, learn, and create as a community. And on today's episode, we're going to be installing Let's Encrypt. And so I've actually done a video on Let's Encrypt before, but the container has changed slightly. And so we need to actually do the variables a little different. So I found this was a perfect time to redo this video. And also, this is the container that most people have the hardest time with, and so I wanted to do a separate video just on this container so people can get it right the first time. And so we're gonna be using Let's Encrypt for OpenVPN in our next video, so we wanna make sure it works right. And if you like this video, make sure you like it, and if you're new to the channel or you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell button to be keep informed about what our community is doing and here we go now okay let's get started so first we need to go to the top right here we're gonna type in let's encrypt and we're gonna click on the Linux server let's encrypt we're gonna click info and that brings up our Linux server. We go down the usage page. We're going to go back. We're going to click start. When that's done, we're going to click close. And next what we're going to do is go to shell in the box. Double click that. Go to web clients. Log in as root and your password. Next we're going to find our UID and our GID. And so we're going to type in ID and then our username. My user is user1. Hit enter. Copy down your UID, which for me is 1000, and, my, and your GID, which is 100. Next, we're going to create a Docker network. And so we're going to type in Docker space network space create. And then a network name I call mine my dash net. Then hit enter. So my network already is, exists, but for you, it should say create. Next, we're going to type in exit, and then we're going to close shell in the box. We're going to go back to Docker, click on Let's Encrypt, and then run. And so next, we're going to type in Let's Encrypt. Restart policy is always. We're going to leave it in bridge mode for right now. We're going to put 443 is 450. Hit the plus sign. 80 is 90, hit the plus sign. Next we're going to put in our PUID, which is our UID. For me that was 1000, hit the plus sign. Our PGID, which was our GID. For me that was 100, and then hit the plus sign. Next we're going to put in our time zone. Then hit the plus sign. So now we'll put in our email. It's important that this is a valid email address because you'll need it for when they validate your certificates again in six months. Hit the plus sign. Next, you're going to type in your URL. And so for this, what we're going to do is put in our domain that we have in there. So for me, it's let duck. And so it's letduck at duckdns.org. Hit the plus sign. Next, we're going to put in subdomains. And so for these, they should have your name exactly how you want it with a comma, no space, then the next name, comma, no space, next name, comma, no space, and so on. And then hit the plus sign. Next, we're going to type in validation. And so for us, validation is going to be HTTP. And then hit the plus sign. Okay, next, we're going to scroll down to container path. We're going to hit slash and then config. And we're going to go to our network and we're going to go to our app data folder. And we're going to create a folder named let's. And we can close that. And then we're going to go host path. Shared folders, app data, and there's our let's folder. Click OK. Hit the plus sign. And then finally, down here at the bottom, we need to add two things. 
So the first one is dash dash cap add dash add equals net underscore admin. And why we're adding that, if you look under the directions in the setting up application, you see right here it says that's needed for fail to ban to work properly. And then the second thing we're adding is dash dash network space my dash net, which is my dash net is the name of our network that we added. If you called it something else, make sure you put it there. And so that way that network is part of this container. Now, if we clicked save right now, this would not work. And so what we're gonna do is go over to our router. So next we're gonna forward our ports. And if you remember, we did 80 to 90. So we're gonna do external 80 to internal 90. We're gonna add in our server address. We're going to call that let's. We need that to verify the certificate and we're going to put this to both. Click add. Next we're going to forward 443 to 450 and we're going to put in the same server address and we're going to call that let's two. Click the add button and then actually now for me, I have to click the save button down below. So make sure you do that if you haven't. That will restart your router or update the settings on your router. And so now when we go back to our container, we're gonna click save. So next we're gonna go back to shell in the box again. So click on shell in the box, click web client and log in again. So what we're going to type in now is docker space log space dash f space let's encrypt. And so this let's encrypt has to be spelled exactly like how you spelled it in your container. So I'll show you where to look for that. And so here you can see it says names and then there's the let's encrypt container and that's how I spelled it. If you spelled it some other way, make sure you spell it the same way when you check the docker logs. And so now we're going to hit enter. And so here you can see that it says, congratulations, the certificates have been made. And so now our Let's Encrypt container should be ready. So let's go to a new tab and type in our DuckDNS address. Okay, and so there is our address. Let's click on it. And here you can see it says, welcome to our server, which means that we are actually in the NGX server inside of Let's Encrypt, so it has worked correctly. Let's go back to Shell in the Box for a second. And so if you get to this page, and so if you uh, don't get congratulations here, usually it will tell you why it hasn't worked. And 99% of the time, it's because you haven't forwarded your ports correctly. So that's how we set up Let's Encrypt, which we're going to be using for OpenVPN in our next video. So make sure you have DuckDNS and op or Let's Encrypt all set up correctly before you move on to the next video. And if you like this video, make sure you like it. And if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.